An application that teachers frequently ask me about is Prezi. And this is an online tool that you can use to create presentations. It is Prezi.com. And the reason why teachers like this so much more than some of the other present presentation tools is that it seems to hold students' engagement and attention a little bit better than some of the other presentations that we've used in the past. Prezi has the option to allow you to flip, zoom, and pan across the, the screen in ways that other presentations don't. And it's very, very simple to use. So I am logged in to my free account. You can see here, I'm going to go to my Prezi's. And you can see all of the Prezi's that I have done in the past. I'll give you a little demo of one at the end here. But I'm going to go ahead and begin creating my Prezi just by clicking New Prezi. I'm going to call it Tutorial and then click New Prezi again. Now I've got some pre-made templates here and I can use these. Um, I want you to notice that, for example, in this one here, it has this circle that's around there and over here on the side we've got some brackets there. Those are kind of like placeholders whenever I'm navigating through my presentation I'm adding something called a path and the path is truly just the direction that I'm heading throughout my presentation and those placeholders that we've got here are keeping my path in order so I can use these but I really like to do my own thing I'm gonna click on blank and then I'm going to choose Start Editing. Now Prezi has helped me out a little bit here by adding some of the things that it knows I'm going to want. For example, it went ahead and put in where I can add text. It's got the frame, which is like the circle that we were looking at earlier. And then it's got the path started for me. I really just like to start out with a clean blank slate, so I'm going to delete all of this. Now I have a plan of what I am doing here. I am first of all going to add some text just by double clicking and I'm going to type TLA like this. This is a title, so I'm going to click right here so it's just a little bit bigger and I click OK it's not really as big as I would like for it to be. The way that I'm going to make it bigger is by scrolling in. So you see here, whenever I click on this, I get my zebra tool, that's what they call this, and then I'll click on the plus sign to make it bigger. Whenever I want to zoom out, I am just going to click on the minus sign or use any other kind of zoom tool that my computer may automatically have. And you can see right now how I'm kind of moving things around. I am moving the entire canvas. I'm not just moving this text here. So that's really what's difficult whenever you're trying to get used to used to everything here. Part of TLA in our school district is 21st century skills. So I am going to come over here to the side and following my map. I've already created all of this and planned it out on paper. And I'm going to type in 21st century skills. And then I'm going to click OK. Now here's where you can start having some fun with Prezi. I have TLA here, 21st century skills over here. And I think it would make sense for me to list the four C's that go along with 21st century skills. But this is where I want to start zooming and uh, flipping around. So I'm going to zoom in right here, about as close as I can get. And I'm going to double click and I'm going to add collaboration. Click OK. Over here, I'm going to add communication. I'm going to add the rest of my four C's now. 
and my next one would be creativity. Now I think I'm going to go ahead and move these and I'm just going to put them up above 21st century skills. Now, because I want to make sure whenever I am creating my, or whenever I'm going through my Prezi, that I start here with TLA, then I go to 21st century skills, and then I hit each of those four C's, I'm going to put in some frames on the four C's. See how I'm having to zoom in so much here? That's going to be very helpful whenever I am planning my, or whenever I am adding the paths to my presentation. For this frame, I am going to just draw a box around this. I'm going to do the same thing as communication. I'm going to have to zoom out to do it for critical thinking. to create that frame on creativity. One little tip for you, sometimes it doesn't want to do what you want it to because you're zoomed in too far or you need to move the screen over. So what you would do is come back over here and click in the middle of this palette and then zoom out. Now I want my critical thinking to be at a different angle than the rest of these. And I'm just going to move that frame along with this. I'm going to make this one really, really be something that uh, has to move a great deal. And I'm just going to leave communication as it is. Okay, so you see as I'm zooming out, whenever I come back here to TLA, you can barely even see those four C's there. I can insert images. I can put in YouTube videos or different files. And these are both very easy to do. I would just click where it says image and I can select one that's on my computer. Let's say I go with this one here. It's a wordle of everything that I'm wanting to do, or that I'm wanting to talk about. And I'll just put it right there. And if I were to add a YouTube video, it's even easier. I just need to have that YouTube link already on my palette, paste it in there, and hit insert, and it will play whenever I click on it. So now I don't have very many colors in here. I can change all of these if I would if I want to. Really, the only thing I have left to do is to add that navigation path. So I'm just going to start that. Obviously, I'm starting out with TLA. I'm going to zoom in for 21st century skills. And zoom in just a little bit too far there. And then I'm going to go to critical thinking, creativity, communication, and collaboration. And now let's just watch it and see what it looks like. I'm going to again scroll out and then down here at the bottom it says start presenting and show. And I'm going to use my arrow keys to navigate through. Let's see how it zooms in for each one. And that's the piece that the kids really like. I'm going to hit escape to go back out full screen. It's just how they can 
move through this and you can zoom in on points that are more important. You can flip things around so it's not just that static presentation that we've done in the past. And it really does hold the kids' attention better and it's just something that you can get very creative with since you've got free reign with this starting out on that blank slate.